Hello everyone it's Dr. Hulk. This video is made for the appreciation of farewell of four-time Formula One world champion, Sebastian Vettel. Sebastian Vettel has emerged as a wonder kid, super talented driver at very young ages and is seen as a future F1 prospect from early ages. Previously F1 drivers were joining the sports at very later ages. Legends like Alain Prost made his F1 debut at the age of 25. Ayrton Senna made his debut at the age of 24 and 1996 F1 world champion made his debut as old as 32 years old. However in 2000 Jensen Button made a very promising debut at the age of 20 and this increased the trust to younger drivers. Thus Vettel has been the test driver for BMW Sauber at the age of 19 in 2006 and the following year he took the full-time driver seat at the Toro Rosso team which is named as Alpha Tauri today and is the sister team of Red Bull. He had an excellent rookie year at Toro Rosso. He beat his experienced, four-time kart champion teammate with 35 points to compare Borges' four points and most importantly he became the youngest ever race winner at the Italian GP at the age of 21. He started to be labeled as Baby Shumi, a compliment for him to be compared to seven times world champion, Vettel's countryman and his idol. This mind-blowing rookie season opened the path of joining the main team, Red Bull following year. As experienced driver David Coulthard retired at the end of 2008 season, there was a one seat available at Red Bull. So he joined Red Bull at 2009. 2009 season has been an extraordinary season. Jensen Button has won the six of first seven races and Vettel had a poor start with zero points at two races. Still he overcame very successfully following races with taking four wins but Button opened the gap so much in first seven races that Vettel couldn't close the gap and Button became the champion. However a 22 years old Sebastian Vettel has shown an incredible promise with finishing the season second. 2010 has been an extremely competitive year. Five drivers were competing for championship at some points of the season. Before the last race of the season Fernando Alonso was the leader with 246 points and Vettel's teammate Weber was second with 238 points. Vettel was third with 231 points and Lewis Hamilton was just 9 points behind him. But Alonso and Weber stayed behind Vitaly Petrov for lots of laps and finished 7th and 8th consecutively. This means Vettel took his first championship and became the youngest ever F1 world champion by beating Lewis Hamilton's record. 2011 has been a much more dominant season as he won the 11 of the 19 races and having 122 points deficit with the second place Jensen Button. 2012 season has been relatively similar to 2010 as he has competed with Fernando Alonso for the championship once again. He finished the season with just three points advantage to Alonso and won his third championship and has won the fourth consecutive championship in a domination like 2011 season. Vettel incredibly won all of the last nine races and finished the season as the champion with having 155 points advantage to Fernando Alonso. He became only third driver in F1 history to win four consecutive championships. He became a four-time champion at the age of 26 and opened path for younger drivers to enter Formula 1 at younger ages with his incredible success. At that time F1 World was considering how many records will Vettel break as he already had a legendary level career at the age of 26. 2014 season has seen dramatic changes for F1. Cars were changed dramatically, Mercedes had an extra dominant start to the season as Lewis Hamilton or Nico Rosberg won 8 of the first 9 races. Vettel had a new teammate, young Daniel Ricciardo who won 3 races in such a Mercedes dominant season. On the other hand Vettel won 0 races. Ricciardo beat his teammate with 238 to 167 points. Vettel became the first title defender to not win a single race after 1998 Jacques Villeneuve. Before the 2015 season Sebastiel Vettel made a fortune-changing decision by leaving Red Bull, where he won four championships in six seasons and dominated the Formula 1. This decision was mainly caused of him idolizing Michael Schumacher, who drove Ferrari for the most of his career and won five championships with the Italian team. And in 2015 once again Mercedes had a dominant season. Lewis Hamilton won the 10 of 19 races and has been on the podium at the 17 of 19 races. Hamilton's teammate Rosberg finished the season second and Vettel was on tail of dominant Mercedes drivers with having 128 points advantage to his teammate Kimi Raikkonen. Vettel won three races that season. 2016 season has started as a Mercedes dominant season once again but this time Nico Rosberg started very strong with winning all of the first four races. The season labeled as the War of Silver Arrows has been gone between Hamilton and Rosberg and at the end Rosberg won the championship with five points against his teammate Lewis Hamilton. Vettel could not get a win that year. In 2017 Hamilton was the favorite after the retirement of reigning champion Rosberg but Ferrari brought a stronger package this season. Vettel has been much more competitive by leading the championship in first 12 races. 
he won five races and finishing the season second to champion Lewis Hamilton. With this championship Lewis Hamilton equaled his championships to Sebastian Vettel, tied at four. As Vettel was strong against Hamilton previous year, 2018 season was labeled as fight for five as Hamilton and Vettel both had four championships at that time. Vettel had a strong start to season with winning first two races and leading the championship at the early stages. His home race has changed the fortune of the season and for some F1 fans changed the fortune of Vettel. In his home race German GP, Vettel took the pole and Hamilton got the 14th grid. It was an excellent opportunity to expand his championship lead and at the previous race Vettel got the win in British GP, in Hamilton's home race. So pole position, morale and momentum. Everything was together with Vettel. Hamilton started 14 but climbed up position very quickly. With Mercedes' superb pit stop strategies accompanied with changing track conditions, Hamilton found himself in a top three opportunity with his teammate Valtteri Bottas, Kimi Raikkonen, and race leader Sebastian Vettel. At lap 52, while leading the race, Vettel crashed to the barriers, which left him out of race. After tire changes, security cars, and excellent race by Lewis Hamilton, Hamilton went from 14th on the grid to win the race to take the lead, which he never lost again. Vettel had won one more race that season which was his 52nd race win. Hamilton once again won the championship to get his fifth championship. 2019 season has been the start of more decline for Vettel. He opened path for younger drivers and Charles Leclerc emerged as his teammate at the age of 22 to upset Vettel. Vettel beat Kimi Raikkonen every season they raced as teammates but Leclerc got more points than Vettel in his first season at 2019. Once again Lewis Hamilton won the championship with an incredible 413 points. 2020 season has been the most shocking season for Vettel. Ferrari was extremely poor that year but while his young teammate Charles Leclerc consistently getting points, Vettel was consistently finishing races at 12th, 13th and 14th places. Leclerc got 98 points compared to 33 points of Vettel, and Ferrari declared that they will not renew Vettel's contract. For 2021 season Vettel joined Aston Martin team and he showed some flashes from his old days at some races. He got 43 points to finish the season 12th, excluding 18 points he lost from DSQ and Hungarian GP due to team error. A young Red Bull driver, Max Verstappen has won the championship that year like Vettel did in 2010 and clearly proved himself as the future of the sport. And in 2022 season Aston Martin was even slower. Due to getting caught to COVID-19 Vettel could not race in first two races. With that car Vettel once again showed flashes from his past years and before the final race of the season he is 11th with 36 points compared to 14 points of his teammate Lance Stroll. Max Verstappen won second world championship in a row like Vettel won in a dominant style in 2011. Vettel has been a true legend at young ages and dominated the F1. From his first year at Red Bull in 2010, till 2018 season he has been a winner. He has won 53 races, which makes him the third most race winner in the F1 history after L. Hamilton and M. Schumacher by 2022. He still has various F1 records and statistically among the top drivers of F1 history. Sebastian Vettel has brought lot to this sport and hope he will have a very happy retirement and would love to see him racing once again. Danke Seb. Thank you for watching.